My question is, given all these demotions, what is your personal religion? Or do you, is there any type of God to you? Like, is there a purpose, given that we're just sitting on this speck in the middle of this sea of stars? No, I don't want to duck any questions. <laughs> and I'm not going to duck this one, even though I have... Uh, high religious personages who are close friends of mine in this room. Um, but let me ask you, what do you mean when you use the word God? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess what my question, it, it's like, is there a purpose for, I mean, given all these demotions, why don't we just blow ourselves up? It's why don't like, we? Yeah, what, what, is, what is our purpose? I mean, in, Let me turn the question around. If we do blow ourselves up, does that disprove the existence of God? No, I guess not. <laughs> I mean, it'll be a little late yeah. to make the discovery, but still. Yeah. I don't mean he, because who knows what God is. But, um, but still saying it makes it right. sort of icky, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. <laughs> We um, like it to be a he, yeah, don't we? Yeah. We've been trained to think of it as a he. Um, it's, it seems that through the ages, we have humans have created a mythological framework that has always involved some kind of, often involves some kind of higher spiritual powers. And yes. as every human culture has done that. As that goes away, as we know more and more that, and it seems harder and harder to prove that anything might exist like that, where does that leave us? On our own. <laughs> <clears throat> Which to my mind is much more responsible than hoping mm -hmm. that someone will, will save us from <laughs> ourselves so we don't have to make our best efforts to do it ourselves. And if we're wrong, and there is someone who steps in and saves us, okay, that's all right. <laughs> I'm for that. I'll say another word. The word God covers an enormous range of different ideas. And you recognize that in the yes. way you phrase the question. <laughs> Running from an outsized, light-skinned male with a long white beard sitting in a throne in the sky and tallying the fall of every sparrow, mm -hmm. for which there is no evidence. To my mind, if anybody has some, I sure would like to see it. Um, <clears throat> to uh, the kind of God that Einstein or Spinoza talked about, which is very close to the sum total of the laws of the universe. Now, it would be crazy to deny that there are laws in the universe. And if that's what you want to call God, then of course God exists. And there are all sorts of other nuances. There is, for example, the deist God that many of the founding fathers of this country believed in, although it is a secret whose name may not be spoken in some circles, a, uh, a roi fainéant, a do-nothing king, the God who creates the universe and then retires, and to whom <coughs> praying to is sort of pointless. He's not here. He went somewhere else. He had other things to do. Now, that's also a God. So when you say, do you believe in God? If I, I say yes or if I say no, you have learned absolutely nothing. I guess I'm asking you to define yours if you have one. But why would we use a word so ambiguous that means so many different things? It gives you freedom to what? define it. As it you gives choose. you freedom to <clears throat> seem to agree with someone else with whom you do not agree. It covers over differences. It makes for social lubrication. But it is not an aid to truth, in my view. And therefore, I think we need much sharper language when we ask these questions. Sorry to take so long in answering this.